Hi, it's the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your June 2017 mid-month readings. Thank you so much for joining us here today and welcome to any newcomers who may be with us for the first time. So the thank yous first, of course, thank you for all your likes and shares and subscribes for all your feedback and support and wonderful comments. You guys are brilliant. Keep them coming. I uh, thank you to those of you who continue to keep me so very busy with personal one-on-one -on -one readings. It's a pleasure and an honor and a blessing to read for you. And I'm grateful for the trust that you place in me to do so. And to my regular clients as well, thank you for being so great uh, and consistent with the feedback and how those readings continue to play out in our lives. And if any if you are uh, interested in a personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me and you haven't read with me before, you can click on that about or description button for more information in my email address, which is maggie, the number one, mcguire at gmail.com. I would be delighted to work with you. I do readings full-time six days a week, so I'm usually able to get back with you quite quickly and set up a reading uh, anywhere between a few days, uh, upwards of two weeks, but almost always we can set something up for you within a two-week period of time. So if you're interested, send me an email. We'll go from there. I do love and romance readings, compatibility chartings, career work and finance readings, year overviews, uh, six-month overviews, channeled messages, and so on. So send me an email and uh, we'll talk. So moving right along, these are general readings, of course, there's many of you watching, so they're not going to mean the same thing to the same degree for everyone, because everyone's got different things going on in their lives. Make sure to check your rising and your moon sign videos for additional insight and clarification, or you may find that one of those may play out a little more predictively for you than your primary sun sign video. I will be pulling four cards for the mid month videos, two cards for each of the remaining two weeks, with an additional fifth card from the bottom of the deck for overall energy and guidance. And this reading is for the Earth sign of Taurus. Taurus the Bull, our lovely, grounded, rooted, sometimes stubborn Taurus. Taurus. Show me the remainder of June 2017 for the Earth sign of Taurus. Okay, Taurus, we begin with the Queen of Wands, followed by Strength, and the Emperor, followed by the Devil, <laughs> and from the bottom of the deck, your overall energy and guidance is the Ace of Cups. I'm laughing, Taurus, because <clears throat> I'm just hearing that some of you have met a woman as represented by this Queen of Wands and she is, you're very much attracted to her. There's very much a spark between the two of you, but she's, you find her a challenge for some reason, which she, she probably would be likely. The Queen of Wands, uh, the Queen of Wands is, is fire because fire is the element which governs the suit of wands. In the tarot, the suit of wands is often, it's creative manifesting building power and it's often about uh, projects, creative or artistic endeavors, careers, building. It's very action-oriented, dynamic, fluid suit. So the Queen of Wands would represent a female, though it could be a male as well, or uh, a particular feminine aspect of the person, because this is a general reading, so this could be, for those of you uh, uh, females watching it, could be a male as well. Or somebody who strongly manifests the character traits of the Queen of Wands. Uh, particularly since she's paired with Strength, I'm getting kind of a Leo vibe off of her, but it could be, it just could be somebody who manifests those character traits. But the Queen of Wands would be, as an individual, as a personality, she would be very fiery, dynamic, action-oriented, probably um, nice to look at, charismatic, good leader, good at inspiring and delegating other people, doesn't tend to rest on her laurels for very long. Uh, she can be a very strong, self-empowered uh, sort of person, uh, you know, fire sign person, and you are that lovely grounded earth sign. And I feel like for those of you who have just met somebody like this or are just getting involved with somebody like this, I feel like they really are kind of keeping you on your toes, kind of a, a challenge to you. On an energetic level, for those of you for whom this would not be a relationship reading, on an energetic level, uh, especially paired with strength, which is about, strength is about facing your fears, your doubts, your insecurities, wrestling with your demons, coming to grips with those, facing the things that you're afraid of instead of avoiding them, running away from them. And this, it's about the strength that it takes to do that, to go through that, and the strength and insight and wisdom that you get on the other side of, of having done that. Uh, this woman has tamed this wild beast, this lion, which is symbolic for uh, whatever it is that you've been struggling with. And the Queen of Wands on an energetic level 
represents being at a place in your life where um, perhaps you've overcome quite a bit in your life. You've struggled with, successfully faced, and dealt with um, some difficulties in your life and within yourself too. And you're experiencing, you're at a place in your life energetically where you're experiencing kind of just an overall sense of, of empowerment, uh, a sense of having come through something, conquered it, and being able to stand up straighter, taller, feeling much more confident uh, with yourself, especially considering that your overall energy, the crowning card, is the Ace of Cups, which can be a sign of new love and romance for some of you. Uh, fundamentally, it's it's about an emotional awakening, the beginning of, of an emotional awakening. And for some of you for whom, again, this isn't relationship or specifically relationship oriented, you're at a place in your life where you've, it's kind of like you've kind of reached a milestone uh, successfully. And I feel like it's because you've, you've overcome something. You've come to a place where you've overcome quite a lot and you're finally at a place where it feels like everything is kind of coming together you feel very confident, self-empowered, uh, and that's where you are in your life. And for those of you for whom that reading, this reading will resonate for you on that line, I feel like I'm hearing that you've kind of reached this milestone, kind of a plateau, and something quite amazing is around the corner for you, is coming for you. I feel within the next one to three months, let me pull another card. <laughs> The next card we would have pulled is the Wheel of Fortune in the upright. So, yeah, something I feel like for those of you who kind of reached that plateau energetically, um, spiritually, in your own kind of evolvement and development, I feel like you're getting ready to kind of transition to another level of something in your life. And uh, I think some unexpected, wonderful things are about to happen to you. And I feel like it's soon. It's within like the next 90 days. Okay. That was interesting. So next to that, around the fourth week or so of June, time being somewhat fluid, we have the combination of the emperor and the devil, two very different kind of energies, major arcana cards. And you have three major arcana cards in these five, so strong sense of divine timing and orchestration at play. So the emperor is convention, tradition, structure, discipline, uh, uh, you know, doing things by the book, being very careful and considerate and contemplative before you make any big decisions. This is not about being hasty, spontaneous, or impulsive. The emperor uh, lives in a world where, you know, all the trains run on time and everything goes according to policy, according to the book. He can sometimes show up as a father or a father figure or a very strong uh, a male person in work or career and business. This would be, you know, uh, the president of a company, CEO, somebody with some status, authority, and decision-making ability. On the negative side of the emperor, he can tend to be a little too strict, a little too rigid, a little too structured, sometimes domineering or controlling. And paired with the devil, the devil is a card fundamentally about imbalance. It can be about addictions, you know, drugs, alcohol, sex, shopping, gambling, addictions, uh, very strong temptations, unhealthy relationships, too much power and control, fundamentally imbalance, the scales being out of whack. So for some of you, okay, I'm just getting to that some of you are in the process or just finished a process where you have successfully or are successfully fighting, battling, and overcoming uh, something in your life. For some of you, you may be, uh, or somebody close to you may be battling or overcoming an addiction of some kind. It could be alcohol or drugs or gambling or, or in unhealthy relationships. It could be that as well. Some of you are in the process of, of kind of overcoming that. You are manifesting the energy of the Queen of Wands and strength, and you are overcoming finally uh, perhaps uh, an unhealthy pattern uh, in your life, whether it's an actual substance abuse issue or uh, in unhealthy relationships. You're, 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 if for those of you who are going through that right now, you're going through it, you're going to be successful with that, or you have just successfully uh, kind of uh, battled and overcome something, and you're bringing your life back into harmony. You're, again, that overall energy is that new emotional awakening. For some of you, <laughs> some of you who, going back to the relationship energy, who are involved with 
or newly involved with this Queen of Wands individual, I feel like the relationship may have its struggles. It may be kind of up and down because as a Taurus, you have your own set kind of way of doing things and the Queen of Wands has her own way of doing things. And there may be kind of this power and control struggle uh, if there is, sit down with each other and actually prioritize and talk about how important, you know, whatever it is you guys might be struggling about is, how important are they really and try and kind of divvy it up and bring some balance back to it. Some of you, I'm getting a smaller portion, maybe just a handful of you, have met someone that you're interested in, very interested in, but for some reason... The kind of person they are, this Queen of Wands character, personality, you may be kind of going back and forth as to whether or not it's something you want to pursue. Again, I'm just getting this, this lovely message again about those of you who are overcoming this strong imbalance, uh, overcoming whether it's this unhealthy addictive relationship or overcoming an actual addiction issue in your life anyway. Good for you. It looks like it was quite a struggle, but you guys have won out or are in the process of winning out and you're going to be on a whole new emotional front after that. So good for you for that. It could also be someone close to you. Some of you may be having some issues with your father or a father figure of some kind. There may be, you know, some kind of struggle about that. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I'm just getting that somebody's father, somebody's father or father figure just started dating somebody. Again, maybe they've been single or divorced or widowed and they're dating somebody and it's causing some problems within the family, but it shouldn't because it feels like a natural process for him, but that's kind of interesting. So I think I've kind of, I think I've brought up and connected with all the messages that I've gotten so far. So overall, your crowning card, your energy, the Ace of Cups, New emotional beginnings. For some of you, this is new love and romance with someone who very much resembles this Queen of Wands individual. For some of you, and, and it could be provoking an emotional awakening of some kind, and it may be something that you're struggling with because they're a vastly different personality type than you are. Uh, and again, for those of you who have successfully overcome uh, a source of a, some real significantly negative imbalance in your life, good for you. Emotional awakenings, emotional... Uh, It's kind of like you're being able to breathe freely for the first time, so good for you. It feels very powerful for those of you for whom that resonates. Some of you, it's new love and romance. Over the next couple of weeks, you may be meeting someone who strongly resembles the Queen of Wands, or if you are the Queen of Wands or manifesting the energy of the Queen of Wands, you may be meeting uh, the um, uh, somebody who strongly resembles the Emperor. And again, I feel like this is a relationship which would not be dull by any stretch of the imagination. It may have its ups and downs because you know, the, your personalities are uh, pretty different from each other, but it looks like an interesting ride nonetheless. So Taurus, that pretty much wraps up your June 2017 mid-month reading. I hope you have enjoyed it, that it has uh, at least not confused you too much, and perhaps that it's given you a little food for thought and some insight and clarity. And for those of you, again, who have successfully overcome uh, some kind of negative imbalance in your life, uh, let this be a validation of all your hard work and courage. I will see you all again in a couple of weeks for your July 2017 general readings. And again, if any of you are interested in a personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me, click on the About or Description button for more information and please feel free to email me directly at maggie the number one mcguire at gmail.com that's m-a-g-g-i-e the number one m-c-g-u-i-r-e at gmail.com i would be most happy to work with you take care know that i always wish you joy peace blessings and a happy life and i hope to see you soon taurus bye-bye